Right, so once again, unusually for the UK, we've got really hot weather. It's impossible to do any work or even sleep or anything. And my good friend Howard Taylor the other day made a video about how he'd built a fan out of bits he found lying around at home to keep him cool. And it worked. He'd use a lemonade bottle and a 24 volt motor. Now, I thought I could probably do the same everywhere sold out of desk fans. You just cannot buy a fan anywhere at the moment because everything goes mad as soon as there's any heat at all in this country. Uh, so I found in my garage uh, a fan, but making it work might be a bit interesting. Never tried it before, but it should certainly do the job at keeping us all cool. It's, a power, according to the data sheet, it's 1.1 kilowatt. Uh, it's three phase, which is a bit problematic. Not many houses have a three phase supply. There's definitely three red wires coming out of it. And uh, it tends to fall over when you've got it put up. So I've got these couple of old knackered generators sat here to just hold it in place, stop it. I don't know what will happen, I don't even know if it works. So to supply the three phase, I also found kicking around in a shed, this six and a half KVA three phase generator. So the plan is to try and hook it up. Now in the simple world, we would just put a three phase plug on the end of these wires and plug it into that three phase socket on the generator. But I don't have a three phase plug to hand. Uh, I'm gonna get around that with the very safe option of a set of connector blocks. And I think, because we don't know if the coils on the motor are any good, maybe we'll put some fusible links in to just make it happier. So I'll get on with wiring that up and we'll see what happens. Right, so we're just wiring this up then, in this uh, time-honoured method of using connector blocks. But what I've done, for safety's sake, because um, we did fire up the generator just now, so we know the generator works. Um, we don't know whether it outputs power or not. Um, there's... We've no idea if the fan is all right, if the big fan motor has got any short circuits or anything in it. So um, Michael, who's doing the filming there, came up with a good idea of sticking some fuse wire, so I've got some 5 amp fuse wire going in between these two sets of connector blocks, so if there's any problems they should blow the fuses rather than cooking anything. Um, the, just check that we've got some, yeah they're all in there. So these are all connected up, you can probably see the three bits of fuse wire going in there. Sally has already calculated how many amps we can be expecting the motor to take and that should be within spec for our fuses. All we've got to worry about now is maybe trying to secure this this lump of wood or something to stop it all from falling over and short circuiting onto the case when the generator fires up because the generator is quite vibration-y. So I might just try and find some wood screws and screw all this to a, a lump of wood just to make it a little bit safer. Right, so we're all wired up. Um, I don't, I don't think this is going to short out to anything. Um, I've screwed these to a nice plank of wood so that you know it should hold it relatively sound. Uh, it's not going to be running for very long anyway. Um, final check, fusible links are all in on all three phases. Um, okay, so uh, we'll have a think about this. We've got our safety gear on and um, we've got a, a fire extinguisher to hand. Um, I don't really know why. Uh, you might. It just makes me feel better about the whole thing. I think the only thing to do is fire up the generator and just see what happens. So, switch the on, switch to on. See if it starts as easy as it did earlier.
everything's working perfectly. We haven't had to go out to the shops and buy a fan. We can sit here and enjoy a beautiful hot summer's evening in the English countryside without having to worry about overheating or feeling sweaty at all. I can sit here reading my book, having a nice cold beer. Absolutely perfect.